Hello, this is an introduction to Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness, an isometric, party-based, real-time with pause RPG inspired by classics like Baldur's Gate. You start the game with a single protagonist that you created in the character generation screen. Later during the game, additional NPCs can join you, forming a party of up to five characters. If you're at max party size and find another NPC you want, you'll have to make some tough choices on who gets to stay. Going back to the initial area, we can see the left side of the UI shows your party members, as well as the quick slots of the currently selected character. In the middle, you can reach the key functions of the game, including inventory, spellbook, and journal. On the right side, you can see the console and some of the other features, such as save game. Now let's take a look at inventory. Our protagonist is Derek, a human swindler. On the left side, you can see his portrait and his most important character stats. In the middle section, you can equip the items of the character and manage the quick slots at the bottom. On the right side, you can see the tabs that give you access to your inventory items and to the brewing and drying features. Let's highlight the entrances and containers in the area. We see this container and if we move to search it, look at that, we found an ingredient, a plant that we can move into our inventory. Now if we go to the main inventory tab, we can see the plant there and if we move up to our drying tab, we can now decide what plants, if any, we want to move into our drying equipment. Once you have the plant and the drying equipment and begin the drying, you will need to sleep in order to complete the process of drying the plant. Now that we've slept and finished the process, let's take a look at inventory and go back to drying. Now we can see the plants are waiting to be crushed in the mortar and turned into powders. In this case, we see that we've got two different powders. We could mix the powders together to create a new powder or we can move them down into the quick slot. Let's take this other powder and move it into our inventory. Now let's explore the area. You've made the right our characters choice. run by default, but they can walk as well. Oh, it's your lucky day, stranger. Now we have an NPC initiating a conversation with us. Your conversational choices will impact the way that the NPCs view you and what they will offer you. We can see that with this one, we've got a riddle and a quest. Some NPCs will also be able to join your party upon completion of a quest. You've made Let's the explore right the choice. area further. Hmm, fallen commoners. Let's use our newly created powder of stunning to try and even the odds up on this. We're going You've to pick this right guy. Choice. And as we throw the powder, look at that, we've oh, taken out time. two. <laughs> This isn't Ranged weapons at close range are going to give you a negative modifier, so we switch to a short sword. We can see we've made quick work of him. Those hostile fallen commoners are directly related to the main concept of the game, greed. We will have other videos detailing that concept in the future. Our Kickstarter is coming soon, and we'd love to have you as part of it.